the London <laughs> Derby didn't disappoint. An epic showdown, 2-2, no. okay? And we can say that both teams are title contenders, maybe, with Tottenham. That is a bold statement. Big. But Ange Postecoglou <laughs> is making himself one of the best managers at Tottenham in such a short period of time. Mourinho was a different manager at Tottenham. Conte was a different manager at Tottenham. The Ange Postecoglou yep. approach, new identity, new references, yep. new culture, and new style of play that James Madison is the key with son ahead of them what a duo son yeah. maddie son the duo that we're yeah. loving to see now <laughs> yeah, yeah and and apparently uh if you try 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 again when it comes to tottenham managers uh <laughs> at some point you'll get it right uh we call that what trial by error mm -hmm. um but my goodness big Ange has them has them playing I, it's an identity i mean it's it's a stop it's it's just immensely fun to watch and that was a fun game of football to watch where I thought Big Ange actually outcoached in some respects, Arteta. Um, and to see Son um, operating uh, like a Harry Kane, it was like, Harry Kane who? Where is he? You know, we, do, we don't we don't need Harry Kane, even though he's lighting it up in Germany. Um, it, it was just a, an immensely fun match of football to watch. So if if all the North London derbies are like this in the future, I'm ready for it. But I'll tell you what, this was a historic one. Mm. This was the first North London derby ever, Alex, where both Spurs and Arsenal went into it unbeaten, unbeaten. And I, I think they both played like it. And while Manchester City looks a different breed, um, there I think Spurs and Arsenal have what it takes to to mount some sort of uh, keep them close and see what happens later on in this season. Uh, but yeah, I mean, were you as entertained as I was? Because I that was entertaining. I love what you're saying. Yeah. I think everything you just said is fucked. And people at home, let us know your thoughts too about the London Derby. And if you're agreeing with yep. Breton. But he, I completely agree. Son is a more, has more responsibility with Harry Kane not being there. And but the, my biggest thing is Ange Postecoglou has improved players that were already there. At Tottenham, yeah. Papesar, Bisuma, Pedro Porro, that was very wrongly judged by many people last season. He didn't have the bad start. He didn't have the best start, but he's not a scrub. And he's showing up a great fullback duo with Udogi, that is a youngster, a 20-year-old mm -hmm. with Pedro Porro. It's the trust. And yes, Romero, unfortunate that happened. But once it again, is. Son, Madison, Romero, Vicario is even fantastic. Like, you Ooh. can see, Bisuma, Bisuma is phenomenal with Ange Postecoglou mm -hmm. too. And you said that yep. Ange Postecoglou, Postecoglou outcoached Arteta in, in certain aspects. And the truth is, once they suffered a goal, uh, Tottenham, mm -hmm. they, it, they immediately scored afterwards. The response. Two minutes. <laughs> like, it's, it's the way. It's the way they think on the pitch they find a solution yep. immediately after they suffer a goal something that talks yep. them you wouldn't say one year ago two years ago it's something new new but yep. focusing too on yep. arsenal arsenal have a special yes. special player and england an english mm. special player it's not it's not bold to say now that bukayo saka mm. is the best player next to harry kane playing for england and jude bellingham <laughs> but the best englishman yep. definitely in the premier league right now okay he's clear from anyone and he's got 86 okay consecutive games playing for arsenal the most okay ever for any player yep. in the arsenal jersey that is bold and that's a reference iron man Iron, Iron Man, Man. <laughs> absolutely, and he's still and he's still U twenty three. I mean, listen, Bukayo Saka uh, on a much more granular level, he's played eight games this year, and and he hasn't contributed to goal to a goal in just one of those games. In just one of those games, so he's been everywhere for Arsenal. Um, whether it is forcing an own goal, whether it was you know uh, putting away a penalty, uh, whether it was scoring midweek in the Champions League, um, Bukayo Saka is that guy. Right, he is him for Arsenal, and it is wonderful to see because he's so young, and he's still like there's so much more in front of him. Um, but I do have questions, right, about this Arsenal side. Um, I mean, obviously that Jorginho substitution uh, at halftime uh, very clearly did not work out because ultimately it was Jorginho that made the mistake in midfield. Okay, that stuff happens. But I, I have to ask you, Alex, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Because we there hasn't been a direct question from me to you about this. 
How do you feel about this internal competition, uh, David Raya versus Aaron Ramsdale um, kind of play out? I, I am going to make the, the quick little observation that it obviously played out very nicely for Arsenal today, having Raya and goal. I, I'm sure Ramsdale might have been able to uh, do what he did, but Raya made some very key saves. Um, but how do you feel about that? Because goalkeeper is such a different position to anything else on the field. Right, I, I completely agree, and I don't think it's going to be long-term very healthy having two goalkeepers at that level that are willing to play, and they can play at the high level in the Premier League. Ramsdale, before yeah. Raya arrived, was being mentioned as a top-five keeper in the Premier League. Yeah. So, obviously, mm -hmm. some people can question why did he come, but the truth is, Raya, in terms of reflexes, in terms of handling, handling the ball, and mistakes, okay, the way he can anticipate and read the game, I I think he's better than Ramsdale and in progressive play too. But what you get with yeah. Ramsdale is magnificent saves, moments that you won't forget. It's true, but some minor mistakes happened last season. And if, mm. if life had been perfect at goalkeeper last season for Arsenal, Raya hadn't arrived. I agree. I think yeah. that's a solid point. And it's, it's a doubt. And another doubt is Havertz. Havertz mm. now... I like the fact that he's not starting ahead of Fabio Vieira because he shouldn't. But substituting Fabio Vieira, a player that has better movement, more dynamic, is better playing with Odegaard, with Saka, than Havertz right now, was a, I don't think, bold, and it wasn't the right decision by Arteta that I think helped Tottenham in this game, personally. Personally. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I could see a future where Kai Havertz uh, goes back to join Xabi Alonso uh, at his former club. Uh, at Bayer Leverkusen and, and helps them hopefully uh, beat the Bayern hegemony. Um, hegemony? I don't know how to say that word, actually. But uh, no, I'm just kidding there. But yeah, no, I love seeing Talk Fabio Vieira getting this this uh, this this run out. Um, but I, I do have to bring it back and swing it back to Spurs just really quickly because you mentioned it. it. It was briefly talked about. But how good has the James Madison signing been? I mean, there have been two major, major bolt-on uh, phenomenal signings this season, uh, both uh, of English players. And James Madison has been one, and James Ward-Prowse has been the other for West Ham United. But Madison, uh, I my heart was in my throat when I saw him go down after he like locked his knee. Um, and I got so, so, so worried for him because he, he had both assists on the day. Both assists on the day. He's, he's great on uh, set pieces. Um, he is the perfect Ange player right now. Um, and I, I really would love to see him uh, continue to progress. Uh, as he, He's already worked his way back into the England squad. I mean, it's just great, great to see. Um, and, and something... Um, I've almost forgotten how foul a large part of the Spurs season was last year. And it's still early this year, but it is wonderful to see uh, these, these two clubs, Arsenal and Tottenham, uh, having really, really worthy battles um, this season. It's so, still early. Yeah. I agree with you, but Tottenham yeah. hasn't lost the game. This is mad no. in, such, in such a short period <laughs> of time. They didn't spend loads of money to, with the team that they have. Mm -hmm. Like, Mickey van der Ven, okay, he could have been a bit cheaper maybe, but, like, he's coming <laughs> with a price, and he's coming, and he's being productive for Tottenham too. So I think yep. it's great. And you said English players. Like, look at the English players that were right this summer, okay? <laughs> Jude Bellingham at Real Madrid, Harry Kane with Bayern Munich. You said we're Prowse yep. at West Ham and Madison yep. at Tottenham. All these English great. players were worth the price. They were worth mm -hmm. the price. No English tax right there. But let us know, what are you thinking about the London Derby? What do you think? Do you think Arsenal are title contenders? Do you think Tottenham will be in the top four? This is a match that does solidify themselves in the discussion right now. Let us know what you're yep. thinking and don't forget to like this video.